Hi, this is Marty with Loving Autism. Thanks for joining me on this video series where I'm gonna walk you through a number of simple steps to help to reduce the symptoms of autism in your child. My son was diagnosed shortly before his third birthday and the doctor said that there was nothing I could do to help him. I saw his pain and I refused to believe it. Dedicated all my time and resources researching and finding ways to help my son reach his potential. And along that journey, I discovered a system backed by science to help heal the underlying dysfunction of autism and help heal my son. In this video series, we're gonna discuss the underlying causes of the majority of autism symptoms, the importance of food and what major toxins can easily be removed from your child's diet, and the type of supplements they can take in order to speed up that healing process. I've taken the time to do the research and put together these videos. But if you wanna see results in your child, then simply watching a video isn't gonna cut it. You need to take action and implement the basic steps I give you, because knowledge isn't power. Applied knowledge is power. I can give you all the information in the world, but if you don't do anything with it, then it's just entertainment. And ladies and gentlemen, I am not an entertainer. Sound good? Okay, great. Now before we get started with the tips, it's important to understand that healing autism from the inside out begins with the gut, which is simply everything from the mouth down to the large intestines. Scientists from Harvard and John Hopkins, just to name a few, have discovered that there's this dynamic link between the gut and the brain. Let me explain it to you. Have you ever felt nauseous before giving a speech? Or had that gut feeling either to do or not to do something? Well, that's because there's a direct line of communication from your gut to your brain. Yes, your gut actually speaks to your brain and vice versa. I know it sounds crazy, but it's true. In fact, the area of your brain that your gut communicates most with is responsible for things like mood, sociability, mental health, human connection, and a host of other variables affected by ASD. Interestingly enough, 70% of people with autism also have gastrointestinal problems and issues related to their gut. There's been several studies conducted which have shown that the majority of people with ASD have an imbalance of good and bad bacteria, and specifically more bad than good. This excess bad bacteria inevitably leads to an overproduction of toxins which weakens the lining of the intestines making it permeable, which leads to something known as leaky gut syndrome. Now leaky gut syndrome simply means that your intestinal lining, which is your gut's filter, has holes in it so it allows toxins, yeast, undigested food, and other dangerous pathogens into the bloodstream. And the effects of that, well once those toxins, particles, and pathogens get into the bloodstream, it triggers the immune system to feel stress and danger. And as a response, the body goes into defense mode and becomes inflamed, which in turn puts pressure on the brain, which also intensifies or creates behaviors of ASD. Does that make sense to you guys? All right, if there's nothing else you get from this video, just know that if autism is a fire, inflammation is the gasoline. One Arizona state study revealed the results of chronic inflammation, which is this inflammation long term, and the parallels of behaviors of ASD is shocking. Here's what they found happened just with inflammation. There was brain cell death and reduced brain cell formation. So in other words, uh, brain cells were dying and less brain cells were being formed. There was a reduced response and release of a hormone called oxytocin, which is just basically responsible for human interaction, love, human connection. Increased repetitive behavior, sensitivity, and issues with movement and coordination. Do any of these things sound familiar? I know. And here's the kicker, in that same study when they introduced probiotics and an anti-inflammatory diet to the test subjects, inflammation went down and virtually all other behaviors improved dramatically and in some cases went away completely. That's why it's so critical to A, heal the gut, and B, reduce inflammation inside of our children with autism. So let's put this in the layman's terms for you. Your gut directly communicates with your brain. If you have an unhealthy gut, you have an unhealthy brain. The majority of people with autism have a bacteria imbalance in their gut, which leads to toxins and pathogens entering their bloodstream, which creates a chronic inflammatory response inside the body. That inflammation puts pressure on the brain and intensifies or, or even creates behaviors and symptoms of ASD. So now we can agree that healing the symptoms of autism begin with healing the gut and reducing inflammation. But where's the best place to start? So with my son, I started with eliminating one of the top foods that causes issues in the gut, brain, and is a major source of inflammation. What is it? You guessed it, wheat, which includes gluten. And this doesn't mean running out to the store and buying all the gluten-free alternatives, which the majority of the time are worse than what they're replacing. 
Now I know how challenging it is to change anything, especially with our kids. Remember, I promised you that I would do my part and give you the steps to take, but you need to take the steps. That said, please take action. The simplest way I recommend to do this is just to commit for seven days to remove wheat from your child's diet. Just give it a shot. I guarantee you'll start noticing a difference within seven days. So in summary, in this video, we covered the gut-brain connection, how inflammation is the gasoline on the fire we call autism, and one simple action step you can take in order to help your child, which is to commit to removing wheat from their diet for seven days and see the results for yourself. Remember, knowledge isn't power. Applied knowledge is power. So please start today and remove wheat from your child's diet. Again, just try it for seven days and see if you notice a difference. Until the next video, I wish you the best.